Hello everybody, Ministorm here. Welcome back to Stellaris, the Stellar Republic campaign and Republic news. The Republic government has engaged in an aggressive civilian starbase construction campaign. The benefits are already being felt throughout the Republic as planetary development has expanded on the core worlds as well as the border colonies. The fleet has arrived at the new shipyards being constructed in the Bitria system. The president herself was on hand for the celebration honoring the returning victorious soldiers of the Republic. After the celebrations, the president held a long meeting with the Joint Chiefs of Staff, reportedly to discuss plans for improved border defenses and an expanded fleet. A massive, multilateral series of wars are being fought amongst several nearby nations. The wars are being fought on several fronts and with a complex series of alliances. The situation was described by one pundit as absolute chaos. And that's the news. Alright, so... We are working on expanding all of our star bases here. And let's just do a quick check. All of our construction ships are good. Oh yeah, the, um, the armies are coming back together. So as far as those wars that were, I mentioned, is that so what we have is we have the united republican arts or well the star compact is involved in a war against the padishah empire and the king coalition um with their allies the ostia theocracy and the human united states right the padishah empire are involved in four separate wars. One with the Nihinto Consortium, uh, with their allies, the Kaninka Coalition. Also, they are in a defensive war uh, against the Vanuk Marauders. They're also in that war against the Star Compact, and they're also in a war with the Great Union and the Snidian Interplanetary Hegemony. You know, with their allies, the coalition, right? And so we have these guys who are involved in this war. They are up against the Padasha Empire, and so yeah, it's just it's just all kinds of a mess. Um, I think that the Padasha Empire is probably not gonna last very long. They're gonna get carved up by their neighbors they're already mostly occupied it's it's only a matter of time i think so we will have to see how that all plays out let's just go ahead and pause it and get things moving um so the other thing that we want to make sure that we get done is expanding the borders of the republic through here Open borders. The Confederation of Construction complete. Eurith Eurythphos has opened their borders. Okay. Construction complete. All right. Construction is finishing. Let's keep these guys busy. All right. There's somebody over there already building. Okay. These guys are probably going to need to head back home. Uh, for now, I'm just going to tell them to move. You guys are already heading up there. Okay. Tell them to move back there, and then we'll see what is still available for them to work on. We need to get stations built out here. One thing we do need to work on is setting up some new fleet designs, which um, I had some notes on that. Just give me a second here. 
Okay, so... I think what we're gonna go for is some heavy ship squadrons. Um... To beef up our primary fleet. Well, to basically provide heavy support for the primary fleet. So, let's go ahead and get in the fleet manager. Let's create a new fleet. And what we're going to have is primarily battle cruisers and battleships. Complete. So I think we're going to probably go with two of the Hera class battleships and two of the Zeus class battleships, along with. Uh, I don't want the carrier versions of the battle cruisers. Hold on. I just have to remind myself which is which. Survey complete. All right, soul class battle cruisers is what we're looking for. Orbital researcher mandate fulfilled as per Constantia Apos's mandate. Additional research stations have been constructed. We got a big pile of unity. Perfect. All right, so this new fleet we're going to have the soul class. Um. All right, do we want to continue? Yeah, we're going to go ahead and continue patronizing. Technology discovered. All right, hold on. We got a bunch of stuff here. Um, we're going to go with four of those. Home base, uh, Bitrius Station. It's not very well developed yet, but we're going to make that the home base. And... Can I rename it yet without a, there any without being any ships in it? No. But I actually want to go with two of those. So we're gonna set up another one. And that's gonna require a absolute ton of minerals to build. Alright, so what do we have here? We got the resource replicator. Monthly minerals plus 40 to a planet. Very nice. Artificial Kugel Blitz containment. Uh, Google Blitz generator, Kugel Blitz containment silo. Uh, it's pretty cheap. Let's go for it. Energy storage capacity. Alien entity identified. A tubular alien entity entered orbit of Kaladen with no warning or explanation. It appears to be moving without engines or thrusters, uh, gliding in complete silence to the void of space. Cylinders rotating ominously. Though it has yet to display any signs of aggression, it refuses to acknowledge or hails. Our military advisors warn that it may pose a considerable threat to the inhabitants below and implore us to engage neutralization protocols. Our scientists, however, plead that we instead learn from this remarkable piece of technology. We will study it. An enigmatic guest. That sort of reminds me of the Rama series of books by Is that Arthur C. Clarke. I own them. I should remember. Who wrote them? Okay, so we have a special project. And enigmatic guests. Okay, research. Alright, science ship is done surveying. Continue working on surveys. Construction ship is not doing anything. So you guys should head somewhere to build. And you guys are done building there, so you guys can head over here to build some stations. Or actually, head over here to build some stations. There we go. Ooh, we need a new tradition, which we can get warriors, a warrior's valor, bravery, battles of virtue. Because of this, our citizens flock to become a soldier for this... Okay, and army morale is increased by 25%, and army upkeep and army build costs reduced by 15%. So that is just going to help across the board. 
You have one more there. All right, so all these guys should be able to merge. Construction complete. Hold on. Governing ethics shift in the Democratic Republic of Castoria. Following a long period of growing support for the free thought movement, the Democratic Republic of Castoria has finally embraced a faction. They have become more egalitarian. So they have embraced our ideology. So they have become egalitarian. Interesting. Good. Construction complete. The enigmatic cache departs. It appears as though the enigmatic cache is now done with its scan of Caladan and is seeking another target planet within our borders. Um, a shame. Construction complete. All right, we don't have enough to build another. Starbase outpost. So go ahead and build research stations there. And you are done there. Build mining stations. Let's see. Can I actually. Special project complete. Hold on. Um. I can get one ship. Go ahead and get the one ship. So we can at least get one of those fleets actually out on the field so I can rename it. All right, what's this? Enigmatic cache. Despite extensive search research, the enigmatic cache and its origin are still shrouded in mystery, though it is definitely not organic in nature and is not entirely machine either. It appears to be preoccupied mainly with the gathering, storing, and encoding of data. The surface is covered in hundreds of thousands of minuscule scratches and dents in which we have discovered traces of a compound that is alien to our galaxy. Intriguing. And actually, that's starting to remind me of the whale probe from Star Trek IV. <sighs> All right, the United Republic of Naris has made peace with the Padishah Empire. A new human empire will be created as an ally or subject of the United Republic of Naris out of five occupied imperial systems. So yeah, a big chunk of the Padishah Empire just got torn off. It only actually has one occupied, one actual colonized planet in there. And they are independent. They are not an a, a vassal or anything. I can offer them association status. They are egalitarian and xenophilic. Let's do it. Before they get absorbed into the, uh... What are these guys again? The Star Compact. We voted to offer Human Galactic League association status within the Federation. And they have gone ahead and associated. I don't know if that will preclude them from joining the other Federation, but it will certainly give us a better opportunity to get them into our Federation. Um, develop corporate connections. We can buy influence. I don't know exactly what that is. Xylan Production Complex. It'll take three months. All right. Construction complete. All right. Yep. They're entering into migration treaties. Under threat. Why are they under threat?
Will not join a federation with the Larongo directors. Well, that's unfortunate. We may have to try to influence the Larongo directors to become more egalitarian and less authoritarian. I'm not exactly sure how we would do that. Maybe just simply being in the Federation would push them in that direction. Technology discovered. Alright, Starbase Defense Fortress. Efficient fleet supply lines, ship upkeep minus 20%. Uh, Titans. Oh. Oh. I will take Titans. Survey complete. Alright, Bitrius. You guys need shipyards. Um, a fleet academy is probably a good idea. Ship starting experience plus 100. Grab that. Hyperlane registrar. Effect on allied ships, jump charge time, combat disengagement, disengagement chance. Defensive aura. Crew quarters, dock ship upkeep. Not sure we're really gonna need that, but we'll let that stuff build out and then we'll have to upgrade it at complete. some point. Continue working. Mining stations. Ah. Uh. We have enough for another. Outpost. Construction complete. All right, do we want to do it here? Or do we want to grab this stuff before somebody else gets it? I think we'll probably want to save it for up here. So you just find some stuff to build. Um alien hive is causing trouble. I can't actually move any construction ships or any other kind of civilian vessels into that system as long as they are on evasive fleet stance. Uh, build some research stations there. Oh, more pirates. But they're in there. No big deal. Not for us, anyway. Now, the Padisha are probably still at war. Technology discovered. There's several others, yeah. Xylan production complex is done. Enhanced bio gardens. Fire rate plus 5%. Unlock Starbase Building Command Center. Uh, we probably want that. Command Matrix. So that's gonna be good for these star bases here.
Okay, the Lacoli station is the one building the actual ship. That battleship. Interesting that it didn't select the Bitreus system, since that is what I assigned the home fleet to be. Technology discovered. Uh, what do we have here? All right, the Google Blitz containment. All right. Psionic Research Center. Oh, hold on. Someone just died. Um, yeah, let's grab that. Psionic Research Center. Who, di who just died? President Constantia Apos has died at the age of 82, which means we need to have an emergency election, and our candidates for said election are Mrs. Mrs. Safe Dasayas. We have Rald Cop, who's old, but they they have been president before. Uh, Mathafe Sinosia Thespafu Professorius Professorius Calvinius Luther. And Terrasonus Thanaxiste. All right, we'll see who uh, ends up getting elected. The Human Galactic League joined Star Compact. Yeah, I kind of saw that coming. Oh well. Special they complete. are... Oh. Tessargoid secured. Right, because we actually have open borders so we can get those uh, special projects there. Forgot that I gave those orders. Alright. The Tessargoid is an extremely lethal predator. It stalks the dense jungles of Seelath B3 at night, paralyzing its prey with electric shocks before sucking their brains out with its tube-like mouth. Unfortunately, three of the crew members from the URSF Nikopotan were lost to these creatures before a specimen could be secured. The Museum of Exobiology on Earth will rename one of its wings after these brave officers in honor of their sacrifice. Excellent, I guess. Survey. All right, we have a construction ship that is idle. Build some stations. We have a science ship that is idle. Survey system. Actually, I'm probably going to tell you to break off what you're doing and build that outpost. That's a higher priority right now. These guys need to merge in. We have been insul insulted by the Zeltec Decimators. Look at yourselves. What is that thing in your face? Some kind of mouth? Wait, is that even your face? How can you not see that you humans are an affront to nature? Okay. They are fanatical purifiers. They are dangerous. And they are close to us. Though, actually not. Because there's no actual hyperlane that goes through there. Um, hopefully they'll do something that'll make the uh, the Bu Guardians mad, and the Bu Guardians will go stomp all over them. You guys are materialist, militarist, authoritarians. They do have a positive opinion of us. These guys are still involved in this war.
they are egalitarian. The Junta Consortium might be another potential ally. Was unable to build a mining station. Oh, we must have accidentally doubled up. Just trying to see if there's anything else that I can order them to build at the moment. Not really. Let's tell them to go ahead and move there and sit and be ready. So what is this? Stella Marauders Pirate Fleet. Do we have any ships that could potentially deal with that pirate fleet? Um, I would want to send like a whole fleet, but a few of our light flotillas would be more than adequate. Let's dispatch them to go deal with that. New ruler mandate. Mr. Safe de Sayas has been elected as president of the Solar Republic. Alright, which means we need a new researcher. We happen to have one. Well, I mean, he's more of a biology researcher than a physics, uh, than an engineering guy. But he's who we have at the moment, so. Alright, so what is your mandate? Mining stations. Should be easy enough. We have been insulted by the cooperative of Arvoth. Because they don't like the fact that we are xenophilic. Alright, survey's done. Continue surveying. Oh, we have some more pirate fleets. Alright, we have our own fleets available. How how bad are these pirates? Not bad at all. Okay, so you guys head over there. Deal with that. Should be a piece of cake. More pirates have been sighted. Again, not near us. Oh, they are on their way. Who's evading hostiles and where? Ooh. Frenzy Star Division at 4K. Okay. I mean, we may be able to beat them. That's gonna be iffy. Construction complete. We might want another fleet up here. Let's see. Fleet manager. Alright, so this space fleet actually exists now. So let me rename this. This is going to be the first... Uh, Battle Squadron. Okay. Yeah, let's put together a 
Because these are what? Light flotillas. Let's make a, a heavy version of this. So what we'll do is we'll do a new fleet. Engaging enemy fleet. We'll give it a car a cruiser. Not a carrier. A cruiser. Which type of cruiser would I want to give it? Hold on. I think a straight-up Apollo class should be fine. We'll give it an Apollo class cruiser. One. And then we'll give it... Four Corvettes. We'll set its home base to be... That shipyard. Way out there. Let's see, can you guys reinforce? Engaging enemy station. And they're building them everywhere but at that starbase, which is like... Come on, man. Well, they didn't even really take any damage. Good. Well, fall back anyway. Actually, uh, you... Build an outpost there. Just get rid of that little bubble. Because this guy hasn't even gotten to that system yet. There we go. Now he has. Alright, so we have an idle science ship, obviously, because... Oh, is there places we can survey? Yeah, we do have places to survey. Survey up there. All right, as per President Miss uh, Afe de Sao's mandate, additional mining stations have been constructed. Construction complete. That guy still heading out. This guy's still coming up there. And you were hopefully gonna get there before the borders close. Construction complete. All right, Larongo directors want to give us minerals in exchange for monthly Urantic crystals. Uh, do we have a spare? Yes, we do. We do have a spare. Oh, one other thing that I wanted to check is surface upgrades. Entertainment network. Yeah, go ahead and do that. Yep, this plan is going to need a bunch of construction done to it. But. Ooh. 
Uh, can we reinforce? Okay, let's go ahead and reinforce a bunch of ships. Okay. But I think we're at the end of the episode here, so we might take a look at surface construction in more detail when we come back. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.